Now more than a thousand high school athletes are gearing up for fierce competition this weekend as the 77th Canadian Secondary Schools Rowing Association Regatta kicked off in St. Catharines today. As Emily Taylor tells us, rowers come in from across the continent for their shot at gold. Sunshine and calm waters made for perfect conditions on day one. Nearly 1,600 students from 139 schools across the continent descended on St. Catharines this weekend. And as the president of the Rowing Association says, for some, this is the biggest event of the year. This is the, the uh, premier event of their school season. They, they come from a lot of crews from BC, 25 different schools from the states, 139 schools in all. Uh, one school is actually from the Bahamas. And this is uh, sort of the end, uh, the, the peak of their school season. There were 42 races today in a wide range of rowing events, including singles, doubles, and groups of four and eight, all over a 2,000 meter distance. Racers with the top times will be invited to compete tomorrow and then in the finals on Sunday. If you get to Sunday, you know you're a fast crew because the competition here is, is as good as anywhere for high school rowing. The first race was some pretty tough competition and it's nothing we're not used to. We know how to bounce back and give it heck the next time. Niagara Region schools, including St. Francis Catholic Secondary School, have been training since November for this. The commitment is big. Where you train, uh, we're on the water six to six days a week, weather permitting. So it's a, it's a lot of time, and uh, it, sometimes you have to give up other things. But uh, once you get into it, I think it's pretty addictive, and then you just keep coming back. Nearby Niagara West Secondary School is also looking to advance in men's doubles and women's eight. In theory, anybody could hop in a boat and learn to row, which I suggest most people do. It's a great like it's a great skill to know and like it's a really great teamwork building activity but it's the dedication that makes it a raceable sport. I think it shapes you a lot as a person as you go through it and teaches you a lot of lessons that I wasn't really expecting when I started. So. Later this summer, St. Catharines will also host the World Rowing Championships. Emily Taylor, CHCH News, St. Catharines.